All right, all right. Yeah, yeah. Good morning. It's your boy BQ, Impact Lounge. This is the, uh, I guess you could say, second edition of this mini podcast that uh, I started. This isn't the B-side. It's not the cool factor. It's eight to ten minute quick hits. I don't know what I'm going to call it yet. I'll figure something out, but I wanted to get this content out to you guys. So tonight, Christian Cage is challenging Kenny Omega for the Impact Wrestling World Championship on AEW Rampage. This is the first match in AEW Rampage history. It's very rare that I get to watch any wrestling program live, but Wednesday I was actually free and did watch Dynamite as it aired. And I'm watching this segment that I really kind of didn't care about. Because I'm not into the, I'm, I don't understand, I don't get the humor of Kenny Omega and the Young Bucks and all that. Like, they're not funny to me at all. So, I kind of tune out their segments. It's very Disney, uh, Disney villain humor. I don't, not humor wise, but it's very Disney villain. You know what I'm saying? So, I kind of tuned it out. And then Christian Cage comes out. Long story short, he you know, name drops Scott Demore, which I thought was wild and name drops him a second time and says, last I checked, you have two world titles. So on AW rampage, the first match in rampage history, it's Kenny Omega versus Christian cage for the impact championship. So I've had a couple days to sit on this, to let it bubble about what I think is going to happen tonight. Now, many of you probably do not want to see Christian Cage win the title for the for the simple fact that you want to see someone from Impact win it. And uh, so there's something that I often say to you guys, for those who have listened to me for a while, have heard me say things along these lines. If you're listening to me for the first time, let me put this out to you right now. One of my knocks on Impact is that they would rather remind you that they used to have AJ Styles than find the next AJ Styles. I mean, they uh, name dropped, uh, Frankie Kazarian did, and you know, he's an original, right? But I mean, I get that, but I mean, how many times from week to week do they go, AJ Styles, Samoa Joe, Christopher Daniels, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just the way the company is. So as I've sat there and thought about this, really, really let it, really let it bubble. I think he's going to win tonight. I think Christian Cage is going to win a title. And and I've got a few reasons for this, but I'm throwing that out there first, that I, I do think that Impact sees more value in someone who used to be a part of TNA winning the title than someone from their current roster getting the rub of beating Kenny Omega. So as fans, we want to see Kenny Omega lose to someone from the Impact roster, right? Because he pretty much embarrassed Rich Swan in the in the build up to the match, the promos, the match itself. And then he has this great match with Moose that gets the BS finish. He has a really good match with Sammy Callahan. You know, the only one that where I was legitimately hoping, uh, let me not say that where I legitimately didn't know who was going to win was the very first one. And that sounds like the obvious one, right? In the back of my mind, I was like, dude, maybe, maybe Rich Swan's going to win this thing, <laughs> you know, but I knew Moose and Sammy Callahan were going to win. And then I'm thinking, okay, well, they want him to wrestle Eddie Edwards. And it seemed a logical choice, but he was going to take on Josh Alexander, right? Like he was going to say, well, I want that X division championship. And, you know, they wrestle title for title and a star is born with Josh Alexander, right? That's what logically we feel is going to happen. So something I've said before, whether it was NWA power, AEW dynamite, um, you know, I've even talked about the debut on pop TV. Usually when something is a, uh, AEW dark, all this shit. Okay. When something is episode number one, that usually has the most set of eyeballs. That's always the, the the biggest talking point, right? Like when the first NWA Power episode came out, like how much social media buzz there was after that episode, and what buzz is there after any has there been after any episode since then? You know what I mean? 
so with 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 uh, what the hell is this show called? Rampage tonight. It's going to have probably the highest number of viewers that Rampage is going to have in the immediate future. Now, if they have some kind of, you know, I'm just pulling this out of my ass. Brock Lesnar shows up and people know or CM Punk is that's that's different. OK, but it, but it, for as far as the immediate future, this is probably going to have the highest number of viewers. Now, it's I believe it's on at like 10 p.m. Eastern or something. I'm going to kind of go out on a limb and say, because it's episode number one, I think it's going to do about 700,000 viewers. And then I think the following episodes are going to be about 500,000. That's, that's what I feel from the trends I see in television. But the thing with AEW's demographic, which this is what's really good for impact, even though it's not featuring impact talent, but it's featuring their world title is that with AEW's viewership, it's the, target demo the uh that they're really good with they get you know 0.4 ratings which you know with his 400,000 people with a million people are watching you know what I mean it's more people than watch impact total impacts ratings always have you know the 0.04s you know it's it's a very old audience so this is really good exposure for impact because the name just the name being dropped that's brand called brand recognition I think Christian is going to win this thing. If you don't know, Christian is also wrestling Kenny Omega at All Out for the AEW World Title. Let's use common sense here. I could be totally off base here, but let's let's just use general common sense. Christian Cage, who's undefeated in AEW, is not going to lose twice to Kenny Omega. It doesn't make unless there's some kind of screw finish. Which I don't think there will be because, again, first episode of Rampage. They're not going to have a... It's the first match. They're not going to have a BS finish. They're going to have a talking point. Something that's going to make social media buzz and people talk immediately. And talk the next day and keep talking about it. So they got to do something big. They can't just have a big match. It's got to have a big finish, too. can't be a BS finish. But as I, as I was saying, it doesn't make sense for this undefeated guy to lose twice to Kenny Omega. Because what build is there for the next match for All Out? Now, speaking of build, this gives this match has absolutely no build whatsoever. But it doesn't matter because they don't have to build the way that Impact has to build because of the target demographic and the viewership and the social media reach that they have. Impact needs to build a match like that on their show. Th- this was out of nowhere, which makes it even it makes it pretty buzzworthy in its own right. But I think Christian Cage is the guy. Brian Myers is the number one contender for the title at Emergence. I love Brian Myers. He's one of my top four favorite wrestlers at Impact. Brian Myers is not wrestling Kenny Omega. Okay, let's be real here. Would it make more sense at Emergence that he's wrestling Christian Cage? Heel versus babyface instead of heel versus heel? Makes more sense to me. So this is all common sense I'm saying here. We don't know exactly how it's going to play out, what's going to happen. But when you put all these things together, it's the first episode of Rampage. It's going to have the most viewership in the, in the short term. It's going to be the buzzworthy episode. It's um, It's got a former TNA star who I think Impact Wrestling values more than someone on the current roster getting the rub being Kenny, beating Kenny Omega. And maybe that was the whole plan this whole time was, okay, Kenny Omega's going to hold your title, but he's not going to drop it to someone on that show. Okay, cool. We'll, we'll find a creative way around that. And then it kind of makes sense because then you swap Kenny Omega for Christian Cage and now we start getting him on Impact from week to week because the Kenny Omega thing is kind of run its course to an extent. I mean, you can always benefit from having Kenny Omega, but it's kind of run its course at the same time. So now that now we get something fresh with Christian Cage, you know, him wrestling at emergence makes a lot of sense against Brian Myers, you know? So we'll see folks. I just hit the 10 minute mark. I'm trying to keep things in that general time frame when I do these shorter podcasts. 
I want to know your thoughts. If you think this, this content is only relevant for about half a day (laughs) because this match is tonight. And do you think all things considered, you know, that I brought up, you know, and then again, uh, Christian Cage is not going to lose twice to Kenny Omega. Like it makes no sense for him to lose. And then how do you build to the main event at all out? You feel me on that? So I want to know your thoughts. You probably hear my cat in the background. I want to know your thoughts. Who's going to win tonight's match? Would you rather someone from Impact Wrestling beat Kenny Omega? Or are you okay with Christian Cage doing it? And then Christian Cage eventually dropping the title to someone on Impact Wrestling. Let me know your thoughts, folks. I'm your boy, BQ. I'm out. Peace.